All right, guys, we are live with group break 6546. Let's actually save this at 6546. So we got to do the random here. So you're getting 11 off of the uh, checklist. We made them, we showed on the site. So let's head over to the break area. The random area and so we'll do a list of Pokemon first on three one 143 good two and three so up top we got Galarian Articuno, Articuno the f alternate art and alternate art Slurking And we got the list of participants. One, two, and three. So we got CB down to CB. set up the list Is it centered? Not so much. Let's add one in there. There we go. So I'm just gonna kind of slow roll through here, so you guys can see who you got. Uh, I'll call out any of the big ones that I see. Uh, Mezcal, you got that uh, combo spot with the uh, water psychic fighting type. Let's see who got all commons and uncommons. See yet. Oh, and I have to look for the Snorlax spot. That's my personal favorite. I'm really hoping we hit one. All commons and uncommons going to Pow Wow. Uh, Snorlax, there it is, going to Mezcal. There we go. All right, set over to the break area. I'm just going to alphabetize this real quick. Oh, no, I'm, I'm with you, Kenny. I, I love the full arts. Just alphabetize this so I can find it real easily. All right. Let us rip. I got my trash can ready for set.
two, three, four, five, and six. Actually, let me move that a little bit. Kaniac, let me know, is the lighting okay? I actually installed new lighting to make it a little brighter in here. We have fancy LED lights now on both sides. Empty box. Again, anyone who is going to nationals and you want your mail day brought uh, to nationals, just let me know. I will bring it with me. Except for powwow and your commons uncommons, I'm not flying with like 10 pounds of cards. from United for this flight and they were like would you like to upgrade your seats to first class for $1,300 for a two-hour flight no I would not oh we got a rainbow rare right off the bat so Zeb Stryka and Caitlin rainbow rare let's see who that was Caitlin Rainbow Rare goes to Mezcal. That's how we start a break. Full art Rainbow Rare Trainer. I love it. Uh, Fru Fru and uh, Kelsion. Snow Runt and Volcarana. Doug Trio and Golette. Porygon, and we got uh, Galarian Slow King V Max. Very nice. Actually, I think it's a little off on that side. Let's see if I can swing that one there. Galarian Sloking V Max. That one should go to. That is. Mezcal. Uh, Galarian Yamask and Agron. Uh, Peonia and Ice Rider Calrex V. We're getting some nice ones already. I have a feeling this is just gonna be a really nice case. Uh, Rug Helmet and Frost Lats. Cast Form and Spiritomb. And Galarian Slowpoke and Malamar.
So if you wanted to learn a little something interesting that I learned from some packs I was opening, the cards with the code for TCG Online, people can actually run automated programs that go through those videos, pick up the uh, QR code, and just automatically redeem those packs online. I just thought that was interesting. So I'm going to make more of an effort to not show off those QR codes, because someone who asked for some came back and said that about 9 out of every 10 were already redeemed. And that was from packs that I had opened and then immediately mailed out those codes for. So I learned something about those little codes. Abominable, crab ominable. That's always going to take a second. Uh, Serena, uh, Galarian Sloking, and Sandaconda V. Sandaconda V. I'll look that one up. Uh, Hatram and Ampharos. Fru Fru and Zaviper. Uh, Expedition Uniform and Cinderace. Uh, Bone Sweet and Zangoose. There we go, we got another one. Weevil and Celebi V. Doing pretty well on this one so far. Celebi V. So we gotta look up Santa Conda and Celebi. Blitzel and Gallade. There you go. So we had Santa Conda went to Santa 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 Santa. Santa Conda went to CB and Celebi goes to Mezcal. Put those ones there. Maniac, do you remember who you got off the list? Since you're here, I'm going to root for you. I'm rooting against anyone. Just Kaniac, I'm gonna root for Action. Because he sits through the hour long Pokemon break with me. Tornadus V, that's the alternate art right there. Alternate art in box one, there you go. Who got that? Tornadus V. Tornadus V, alternate art. Who's that going to? I'm rooting for him. Kaniac. That's a big one, Kaniac. Congrats. Beautiful. I love that one. Volcarana and Curlia. Wrap locked and Zangoose. 
Rainbow Rare and an alternate art in one box. So that's just the kind of night it's going to be. Echoing Horn and Cavalion. Cavalion. Absolutely a big hitty with that one. Absolutely. And, oh, there you go. To match, you got the uh, normal art Tornadoes V, which goes to Mezcal. And I'm going to say that's actually Calvin. I'm going to replace all my Mezcals with Calvin. And some of them with an Eliza. Greedent. That's a Mez. Galley to go lurk. Deli bird and Galarian Sir fetched. Yeah, the Chonky Squirrel is definitely greeting. Uh, it looks like me on Halloween when my kids come back with all the candy. And I'm letting them know that anything mint is automatically goes to the house. They don't pay rent, so you know. I might as well once a year get a couple of York Peppermint Patties out of this deal. I mean, yeah, sure, she's only 13, but, you know. Let's go. Those are my York Peppermint Patties. Impact Energy and Scoliopede. Savipa and Beedrill. Uh, Saucebuck and Slurpuff. Aeron and Agron. Barvets does feel. Oh, there we go. Galarian Sloking V. That one goes to. Galarian Sloking V. That one's going to Bunny. Is that Striker and the Fog Crystal? Quillfish and Ice Rider, Calrex V Max. What a box, honestly. Ice Rider, Calrex V Max. That one goes to Pow Wow. What a box, honestly. You can do like a full recap video of this, and that's all you need. Uh,. Haunter and Thunderous. Old Cemetery and Serena. That's it. That's box number one, but honestly, that's like better than some cases I've seen on one box. Alternate art, rainbow. How many? I think eight other V's, VMAXs. Yeah, I have a 13 and 16 year old Kaniac, so I, our days of trick or treating are numbered. Empty box. Sixteen year old would rather go to parties, and a thirteen year old. I have a feeling last year was her last year. But I have just as much fun handing out candy. Cause I. Uh, I think two years ago I put on like the uh, Grim Reaper robe and just sat on the front stoop and just didn't move with the candy bowl in front of me and it was just hilarious to watch kids like slowly inch up waiting.
And then you had like the one brave little five year old that just walked straight up, grabbed some candy, and walked away before I could even move. And he was like, Yep, whatever. I'm here for the Reese's Pieces. Let's go. Even though I don't know if it's just my area or overall, but less kids are trick or treating these days. And then you have the lame ones that just kind of show up in a t-shirt, and I'm like, really? Uh, Scoliopede and Wheezing? Another Rainbow Rare? Box 2, another Rainbow Rare. Avery Rainbow Rare. Two for two so far on Rainbow Rares. Avery Rainbow Rare. That one goes to CB. Honestly, what a case. Another V. Special Energy and Volcanian V. Maybe there is like a trunk, like you said, Kaniac, there's a trunk or treat event that I just don't know of around here because my kids aren't young enough to get invited to that anymore. Uh, Boom Sweet and Doug Trio. Cub Fu and Warren. Drizzle and Obama Snow. Uh, Steen and Galarian Rune, Rune Rigus. Golette and Volcarana. Go Lurk and Zangoose. And also, just so you guys know, I will be shipping this out tomorrow, Tuesday at the latest. So, if you do want me to bring it to, with me to Chicago, you got a short window. Because I want to get everything out before my flight on Wednesday morning. So just reach out to me, uh, email, drivesgrath.yahoo.com, or shoot me Facebook Messenger. Conviction and Ampros. Uh, Sobble and Frostlax. Snover and Lipard V. Uh, Justified Gloves and Obama Snow. Blitzel and Galarian Sir Fetched. Uh, something coming up here. Larvista, Heracross, and another full art trainer. Oof, what a case, Doctor. Doctor, Doctor, can you give me the news? I got a bad news. Uh, Doctor Full Art goes to Powell. Honestly, what a case. Full Art Trainers, Rainbow Rares, ugh. Caitlin and Walreen, Ampharos, there's another Sandaconda V, the Galarian Articuno V Alternate, yeah, it's a pretty good one, but I mean, the Tornadus V, the alternate art one there. The art on it is just beautiful. 
uh, Weevil and Swillerux. I wouldn't downplay that uh, Tornadus one at all. now. I mean, the centering was really good. Honestly, to me, that would be a uh, CGC candidate for sending in. If you're looking to grade it. Or PSA if you want to spend the... I think you do it for like 200 right now. I don't know where the market is on graded alternate arts right now because grading hasn't really been open. Uh, Slurpuff and Obama's now. Uh, Porygon 2 and Single Strike or Shifu. Snow Runt and Ampharos. Patch of the Peak and Obama Snow. Oregon and Kelsion, Zarud and Porygon Z. You got the whole Porygon family going. Here's something. Peonia and Ice Rider Calyrex V. I think that's our second one Ice Rider. So now we're looking for Shadow Rider. Salzbuck and Rockruff. Yeah, I have a Verstappen, a couple of Ver two Verstappen sapphires that I want to send in, but I have to figure out if it's worth the two hundred or I'm not doing. Uh, I might now probably not show the show pricing, but definitely worth grading for stoppings. I haven't thought about sending anything. I actually have to, once I get back from Nationals, I really want to do some more work on comic book restoration because I picked up another couple this last weekend and they're beautiful. I'm really enjoying comic book collecting right now. If you guys are looking to diversify your portfolio a little bit from sport cards and Pokemon, comics is definitely a tried and true. I mean, show pricing, sure, is expensive, and people are going to complain about it, but you know what? I will pay $1,000 to grade my card when it could potentially be a $10,000 sale. I mean, you just have to look at your ROI on it. What do you have to gain? And if it's substantial, do it. Uh, Gallade and Cast Form. Cast Form, Sunny Form. Like, don't go uh, going for a... Uh, Ladybug and spend a thousand dollars grading a common card. I mean, just don't do it. You got no one to blame but yourself if you're doing that. Uh, Carbominable and Gardevoir. Zed Strika. Hatrine and Serena. Yeah, the comic market, it, it, it goes through dips like anything else, but I've just been able to find more because there's uh, there's so many people getting into sports cards right now that it's getting harder to find things. 
but comics I can still readily find. And Shadow Rider Calrex VMAX. Told you we're waiting on a Shadow Rider. There we go. Shadow Rider Calrex VMAX, and that goes to Pow Wow. Very nice. And there, oh, there's this, uh, the secret rare. Energy. That one went to Mezcal, if I remember correctly. So I think, uh, what do you, I think you got Psychic last time, so now you're gonna, you got two of the three. We got Fighting last time. It wasn't Water Energy, I remember that much. Brawly, Zevstrika. Cast form. Here we go, we got a Secret Rare. We got Rainbow Rare. What a case, honestly. I wish this was a personal case for me. Oh, yeah, uh, Kaniac, exactly what you said. It's a different market when you're actually at the show. There's definitely there's, there's people that want to buy, there's people that want to sell, there's people that want to do both, people that want to trade, so just be smart. There's nothing wrong with hold, like holding something and waiting. Uh, not everything needs to be back in three weeks from grading. Even comics that I, like I said, I love getting in comics. Their wait time too is about six months for the lowest cost grading. And I have some there and I sent them off and said, I'll see you when I see you. I have a couple key issues that I'll be sending at like the three week level for them is 120 per comic. Not terrible. You just have to look at what you're getting out of it by spending more to get it back soon. And definitely like PC cards for me, I will send at the slowest rate I possibly can depending on the value of the card and it's PC, I'll get it back when I get it back. Exactly. Uh, as much as people complain, like, hey, I opened this box and I spent $1,000 on it and there's $300 worth of cards. Y yes, that's going to happen. If every box could be open at profit, they wouldn't exist. There's another full art. <laughs> another full art or a rainbow already. Let's go. Uh, and Malamar and Peonia. Oof. Love the art on this one. Full art Peona. Who is this? Honestly, what a case. Uh, there it is. Peonia full art goes to CB. What a case. And we're not even halfway. Uh, Rillaboom. And, and for anyone wondering and they're new to this, the full art trainer cards like that one, uh, the Rainbow Raiders, they're highly sought after because they're very good in the game. They look great in your deck. Plus, there's people that just want to collect the full art cards. Don't think to yourself, just because it's... Oh, it's not a Pokemon, so it's not like a... Pokemon, Pokemon. It's not worth anything. No. Trainer cards are amazing. Uh, Lycanroc and Passimian. Uh, Blazekin VMAX. What a case. Blazekin VMAX. Blazekin VMAX goes to Galvin. Salzbuck and Serena. Thunderous, Clara, and Galarian Sir Fetched. Andy, what's going on? And just
just because I have to put on my salesman hat here. Uh, Wednesday is when we back. No breaks on Monday or Tuesday. We will be live on Wednesday again from Chicago, the Nationals, the National Sports Card Convention. Uh, I think 3 Central is when we will about be going live. Uh, those breaks for Wednesday are already up on the site. Three of them have already sold out. I think there are three or four more. Uh, the Draz pick, for what it's worth, for me, is the football break. Elite. Uh, football season is about to begin. Basketball is over. Baseball is towards the end of the season, I believe. I don't know if they're doing a, how their schedule is working this year, but some spring training. Or spring training. Uh, football camp is about to open up, so expect like uh, the investment portion of it is going to get nutty. So I would get in now on Elite. That one's a random team half case. Super cheap for what those cases are going for. Spirit Tomb. Definitely the Draz pick for Wednesday's breaks. Cast form and Kelsion. Thwacky and Bayonet. Mayor Reap and Doug Trio. Inteleon. Something here. Metagross V. Very nice. Special Energy and Zangoose. Spirit Tomb. Go and I'll look it up real quick. Metagross V went to. Metagross, Metagross, Metagross. Calvin! Uh, yeah. Met, uh, Kaniac Soccer. Uh, I think I actually got outbid on that one. I wasn't paying attention, so. I got kicked out of soccer, and yes, leaf. Anytime you get one of those leaf guaranteed ones, it's honest. It's a stress-free break because you know you're hitting, and their leaf has amazing names on their checklist. And I believe that's Valiant. I think that's the one where one of them, maybe more. I think they come encased already. Don't quote me on that. I only looked at the sell sheet. I haven't obviously seen any open yet, but. But they have like, Leaf gets every big rookie in there, so. And when you get guaranteed hit, you just get to sit back and watch. I've gotten some of my favorite cards out of those style breaks, is you just get a. There's no stress involved in it. You know you're getting something. There's no shutouts. Uh, Malamar. Spiel and Sir Fetched. Tapu Finney. Saws Buck. Rock Ruff and Slur Buff. Uh, Lapras and Malamar. Yeah, and, and that's the other part. I mean, your buy-in on the Leaf product is amazing for that guaranteed hit, and it holds value. Go Lurk. Got something here. And Galarian Zapdos V. That is the normal art. I know, because I have several of them. I like this card. Galarian Zapdos V go into Calvin. The uh, Galarian Legendary Bird is actually 
everyone who placed a pre-order for the Elite Train Boxes off of the Pokemon site. Uh, the Pokemon Center ETBs were supposed to come with 10 packs. Uh, they only got packed with 8, however. So what they did is they mailed everyone two more packs, and then they also sent them a Galarian Zapdos V, a Galarian Articuno V, and a Galarian Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. So they got like a special blister pack. So I do imagine the, you know, speculating. There's going to be more of them going out and on the market, but it's a beautiful card nonetheless. Uh, Zapdos alternate art I take a Kaniac yeah it was really nice of them uh, you know they admitted to their mistake hey something happened during packaging we were short a couple backs so we're gonna make it up to you so they sent everyone the two additional packs they should have gotten and then some extra cards too uh, Karen's conviction and wheezing yeah anytime a company is like hey we made a mistake and we're gonna make it right you know that's a good company to work with uh, Zarud. See, I don't mind Panini Points, because I love it when the select Cosmic Packs come around. Zangoose and Dugtrio. Agron. Oh, there we go. Galarian Articuno V. That's the full art version. Where's that the alternate? Hold on, I have to look this up. I think this is full art. Galarian Articuno. I believe this is full art, so let's. Let me just. Yeah, don't slide away. I believe that's full art. Yes, that is the full art version. Galarian Articuno V full art goes to Kaniac. Congrats there, bud. No, you wanted the uh, full arts. See, when you hang around for the Pokemon break, you get nice hits. Slurpuff. Weezing and Serena. Galarian Sloking V Max. It's the normal version. Not as normal as a uh, V Max is. It's not the alternate art or the full art, let's put it that way. Got one more here Galarian Moltres V. So I think we've hit all the legendary birds now. Absolute banger of a case. Alternate Art Moltres, okay. okay that's, we only have one Alternate Art, so I believe our last case we hit two, so hopefully we're still do one more. 
And yeah, that's what draws me into Pokemon more than anything, is I do like to play, uh, but the art on these is just what draws me in. Much like a, like a Topps flagship has photo variations, and that, that's what the art is to me, when you get the full art or the alternate art. Super short print, short print, whatever you want to call it. Jimothy, what's going on? Uh, cast form and Galarian Weezing. Weevil. Uh, Pessimian. And Pharaohs. Inkay and Slurpuff. We got something here. Let's see, let's see. What are these? Sandaconda V. There's another full art. Sandaconda V full art. That's going to go to Sandaconda V full art. That's Pow Wow. Another full art. What an absolute banger of a case. Rainbow Rares, alternate art, full arts. The trainers. Oof. Another secret rare. There he is! There he is. Golden, shiny, secret rare Snorlax. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Snorlax. Mezcal. Calvin. Eliza, congrats. That's a centerpiece to your collection right now. Oh, I absolutely love that card. And that also means that we are going to give away some Nationals group rate credit. What a case. What a case. Oh, what a case. I need a minute. I, I love that card. In case you didn't know, I actually collect uh, every Snorlax card that is out there. I, I aim for one of every one. I have my first edition Hollow at PSA right now. Oh, what a case. This is how we kick off Nationals Week. still over two and a half boxes to go. Uh, Grookey and Sawsbuck. Galarian Zapdos V. Let's get more. Uh, no. Sn uh, Snorlax doesn't have a shadow list because he, f Snorlax, first appeared in Jungle. He was not available in base set. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot uh, Mezcal an email right after this break and just congratulate them. Zeb Striker. 
Here we go. We got another Belize can V. Let's keep the big hitty train rolling. Blaze can V goes to Blaze can Blaze can V. Calvin. Yeah, I know they. Uh, I think Mezcal said he was visiting family. Oh, here's another something. Metagross V Max. I think I believe he said he was visiting family, so he was going to be in and out. So I'll shoot him an email and tell him that I will absolutely cry when I have to mail that out. That one's going to Calvin on the V Max. And another. Our, uh, Galarian Articuno V. And that is uh, card 58, so that's the regular version. Galarian Articuno. Pow wow. Uh, I had a first edition of Rare Snowbox when I was a kid. Parents gave it away when I left for. Oh! I'm sorry for that Kaniac. Yeah, I have mine at PSA right now. I actually have a wall above my desk filled with various uh, Snorlaxes. I spend so long, you know, I spend hours and hours every day in this office doing work. So I actually switch it up right now. So right now it actually has, let's see here, we got the Snorlaxes, my little O to Godzilla, uh, we got some Hulk comic books up on the wall. I try to change it up every couple months so I'm not just staring at the same thing every week. Spiritomb. Uh, Malamar. Gallade. Serena. Got a Beedrill coming. Beedrill. Tapu Finney. And Pharaohs. Something here, Carbominable and Ice Rider Calrex V, number three. I still see, I still have all my old uh, childhood cards with me. Uh, my brother has them at our parents' house, and he went there recently and started going through them and uh, pulled out all of his Pokemon cards. And I started showing him comps on some of them, and he was just a little dumbstruck, and he's like, people are paying this much? And I'm like, yep. People might be paying more in another couple months. I know we had one that was like a Air Pikachu card. I think it's the Red Cheeks one. I can't remember if Red Cheeks or Yellow Cheeks is the Air. I think it's Red Cheeks. And yeah, that's a couple hundred dollars right there. He sent his uh, childhood Charizard out to PSA. He came back a seven or an eight, I want to believe. It's not that ten you're hoping for, but I mean, a card that was sitting around and played with, you can't really complain when you get a. I want to say it was a 7. There's some people that send me ones. They're like, hey, it's my childhood Charizard. Are you willing to pay, you know, $100,000 for it? I'm like, it's clearly been bent in half. No. Uh, go. Ooh, Galarian Wheezing. Cinderace. Bennett. Saws Buck. 
Malamar. Porygon and Gandalion. Let's go to the second half. I see you hide in a couple of things here. What is this? Uh, Zangoose. We got something here. Lipard V. Very nice. I mean, yeah, if it's a card that you played with as a child and now has been sitting around for the last 20 years, you can't expect it to be a 10. You hope it's a 10, uh, like a rock. But if you get a 6 or a 7, an 8, consider yourself lucky. Uh, I know. It, it's Pokemon is just fun. Especially, like case breaks with uh, the broken up checklist like this you're always getting a mail day like you're not getting shut out your odds of getting something good are high because we break it down by card that's why I wanted to do it this way not do like one box at a time but sure you, I mean you can do a box break at a time and it's gonna cost next to you know 10 15 20 bucks but Your ROI on a case break like this is just exponentially higher. And it's just fun. What's going on, Arnavisco? I mean, yeah, Pokemon market does change. Some of these cards will go up and down, but, you know, it's not a rookie that gets injured and is now out for the next year or so everyone's bailing on him the market crashes on that player and Pikachu will always be Pikachu to my knowledge he cannot break his wrist and be out for the season I could be wrong I'm not wrong but I could be Celebi V. That's our second one of that. Celebi V. Arnabisco in the house. It is like, has to be like what? 7 a.m. for you? Maybe earlier? Gallade. Kelsey on. Gravelot. You know what? Pokemon's even still fun. Oh, there we go. Uh, another Blaziken V Max. Pokemon's still fun when you're not in it, because then you you got zero risk. You just get to enjoy all the beautiful art coming up. It is two twenty four AM. Why why are you here, Arnavisco? You should be sleeping. I am happy to have you here, though. Uh, Chrysella. It is, I, I'm gonna watch an episode of Pokemon next week while I'm on a, uh, on my flight to Chicago, and it's gonna be all about how Pikachu broke his wrist. And I'm going to feel horrible. Ah, you're waiting on a boat. Is it still like at least summer weather there on Avisco? So it's not like 30 degrees with the water? It's at least pleasant at 2 o'clock in the morning. Or at least I would enjoy 2 o'clock in the morning sitting by a harbor.
I probably actually enjoy sitting at 2 a.m. at the harbor more than uh, in the afternoon. Walreen. Uh, Ice Rider Calrex. That's number four. Scoliopede. Gallade. Wheezing. I'm also assuming that you're talking Celsius, which I don't know what that translates to. So we got the Fahrenheit over here, America. Santa Con V. Second one there. So we got two of them and the full art. I'm loving this case, honestly. Uh, Rapid Strike or Chifu. Uh, Weezing. Here's one of our code cards. Shadow Rider Calrex V? Let's do it. Shadow Rider Calrex V in this half. Calling it now. So Arnavisco, is the uh, boat like a taxi for you or you work on the boat? Oh, I know, I gotta be careful with these code cards. And again, if anyone wants a code card, I don't automatically send them out, but you want to for the uh, Pokemon Online card game, shoot me a message, I will mail you some. If you need energy cards, shoot me a message, I'll mail you some, but they don't typically go out. Uh, feedback from the first couple of Pokemon breaks, people don't want them, and that's fine. Sometimes I post them up on Instagram, just give them away, uh, hand them out to kids at the local comic store or comic gaming store. They get used. Uh, Passimian, Drizzle, and Saripa. Elcyon, Volcarana, oh you're a linesman on an oil base, alright so taxi just takes you to work, the boat takes you to work, gotcha, Intellion, Greedent, there you go, that's a accurate picture of me on Halloween. Alright, can you? I'll send you a couple. Just uh, shoot me a message on Facebook because I will likely forget. There you go. Told you. Ask and you shall receive. Shadow Rider Calrex V. Look at that beautiful art. Any other requests? Are we going to get like the Babe Ruth cut auto out of Pokemon? Because we can. Agron. Another Rainbow Rare? Why not? Melanie Rainbow Rare. Three Rainbow Rares. Melanie, Melanie, Melanie. Melanie Rainbow Rare going to Bunny. What a case. This is insane, honestly. Three Rainbow Rares. Shiny Snorlax, Tornadus V, Alternate Art. Wow, what a case.
Kira Rainbow Rare? I mean, I mean, are you asking, Kaniac? You're here, so you, you can be as selfish as you want. Only Arnavista is gonna know. And anyone that watches us later. later. Uh, Peony Rainbow Rare. Actually, Peony, that one does pretty well. Uh, that one's used in the game a lot, so. If you're gonna want one, I would go for uh, Peony. Spirit Tomb. Bomb of Snow and Malamar. But uh, if we pull off two Rainbow Rares into the same case, that would just. That'd be the greatest case of. Or uh, box, I should say. Two Rainbow Rares in the same box. Weevil. Celebi V. Arnavisco. So if a case like that, uh, pick your price sold out and there are teams without a bid, uh, usually that means that we will do a uh, closer to fill in all the unbid on teams. You can try emailing Mike and he may. I can't guarantee it either way, but it will be on the site at some point in some manner. Oh, why not? Santa Conda VMAX. Let, let's get another. Sandicana VMAX. That one's going to... Calvin. Oh, that may have been then that someone bid in a manner that they shouldn't have. Like someone put a $500 bid on the Thunder or something. I'm just picking a team name. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll talk to him after this, see what's going on, because you guys are asking about it. He might still be on the road, though, so I can't... I don't know how much he can actually fix right now. And last box, guys, but it was. It was a Santa Conda case. Uh, last box have just been an absolute banger of a case. Uh, Arnavisco, the next breaks are going to be on Wednesday. So nothing Monday, Tuesday. We will be live Wednesday from Chicago at the Nationals. So two nights off after this, and then we'll be live 3 Central. I don't know what that translates to. Uh... I think that's actually normal time for us to be live. I really don't know. And it actually sounds so I'm going to mute it for a second because my kids are coming to the house and you guys don't want to hear that mess. So I'm just going to open packs until they're inside and settled.
All right, they're inside. Uh, Kaniac, honestly, I don't know the break schedule yet. I probably won't know until I get there on Wednesday. So what you guys see on the site is what there is. Uh, Metagross V. Uh, if there is something you're looking for, though, Kaniac, uh, let me or Mike know. I can definitely push for it to happen. Although he may not listen to me because I pushed for him to open a case of Prism Choice at last Nationals, uh, Luffy year. And I was like, we need to open it, we need to open it, we haven't done it yet. And that was when it was going for like 200 a box. But there you go, another Shadow Rider, Calrex. Uh, it was going for like 200 a box, and I don't even want to mention that it's now a four-figure box. I was opening up those choice boxes, buying them from below at, I think, at like 120 150 a box. And last I looked, they went for about 3000 a box now. Mike might not listen to me about what we should open ever again. Uh, Galarian Slow King. But you know what? We had fun. Uh, Bayonet. But definitely, if you're looking for, like, hey, I really want to open up this, reach out. Uh, this is... I think this is an... Ooh, alternate art. We got one more alternate art. It was gonna happen. Galarian Zapdos V alternate art. Who's this one? Galarian, Zapdos, V, Alternate Art, going to Calvin. What an absolute banger of a case. Gengar. Gengar showing up just for Arnavisca. in this break and overall just monsters and we still got 75% of this box to go that is, that is just an awesome art card you have Zapdos running up the side of a mountain Roadrunner style Those are beautiful cards. You'll have to send me some pictures when they come in. Uh, Spirit Tomb. Got something here. Blazekin V. Malamar. Tornadoes V Max. This case is not done yet. I think that's our first one, so I'll call it out. Tornadoes V Max is. Tornadoes V Max, that one goes out to Bunny. Bunny's having a pretty good break, too. I don't think anyone's actually having a bad break. Kelsion. Galarian Weezing. Uh, yeah, Kaniac. <laughs> I'm not going to dissuade you. It is fun to collect those alternates. It is such a slippery slope. I, I love them. Uh, the rarity of them. It's a great short-term, long-term. Uh, definitely. I mean, honestly, if you're thinking about it, I would go now uh, before boxes start drying up. 
because the pull rate on this on uh, Chilling Rains has been really good, so people are buying it up. Celia Seviper. During this video, I will live out my dream of being a uh, voice actor. Slurpa. We got Articuno, Galarian Articuno V. Getting all those legendary birds. Alright, this is it. Uh, Kaniac, last chance. If you want to make a call, if you're hoping for something. get um i'd say right now kaniac the market for the next month or so shouldn't change much uh evolving skies is coming soon if the pull rate on evolving skies is bad people will be jumping more back towards chilly rains because they want those really great pull rates you can see from this case like look at all the amazing things we hit Yeah, people. If the pull rate is bad on evolving skies, then people are going to come back to chilling range, and the prices will go up. I don't foresee that if evolving skies has a good pull rate, I don't. Chilling range shouldn't go down. It will stay where it is, so it's still solid to buy in. I don't think it'll go down. I don't foresee it. That's I'm still buying cards in the set. I buy the alternate art cards because. I don't see it going down. I only see it going up. Whether that's short term or long term, up. Be patient. If you get one from a pack and you're happy, that is amazing. If you buy one at market price, still be happy because long term, short term, you're solid. Volcarana. Seabold and Scoliopede. Agron. Uh, Beedrill. Oh, there you go. One more full art card. Let's do it. Why not? Uh, Lipard V full art. It's our first one of that, so I'll call it out. My part of the full art goes to... That one's going to Calvin. Congrats. Dude, you are having a break. Actually, you know what? Light part of V, I'm sorry, Calvin. I'm saying light part of V will go to Eliza. I'm switching it up. Shaman. I haven't seen too many Shamans. Might be like a... Why not? One more, uh, one more full art trainer card. Why not? Peony full art. Who is it? Peony full art. Going to CB. Why not? If you're going to have like the case of the decade, well, case of the year. Why not? Get one more full art. I know you wanted the rainbow rare. Obama Snow. Go Lurk. 
And guys, there you have it. Honestly, what an absolute banger of a case. Uh, that was group break 6546. There you have it.